didn't actually use my coupon coupon code yet, so. Yay, sir. I was looking through that list like, oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Snitch on yourself. <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't even care if I get caught. I contributed, so it doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Better late than never. <laughs> true, true. So Hydra has been playing pretty damn guy like all day from what I've been seeing. So I'm interested to see how they approach what is like their extremely good aggression. Yeah, the Beyblades here uh, in top eight. <laughs> how do they deal oh, with the immovable nice. wall? <laughs> Oh, that's another bat with Finn character. Nice. Look, I will it. say Beyblades 10,000 times over, say <laughs> Pithra or Myra or Methra or whatever it is y'all want to say. <laughs> so, the girls. I, <laughs> the oh, queens of frame so data. That's what they are. Because excuse me, why is frame... <laughs> I'm going to keep complaining, but I'm going to start this propaganda. Why is Ford Smash on Pyra 20 frames? Why? Don't and also all the, all the extra godlike frame data on, on Mithra. You gotta kill somehow, because <laughs> Mitra has a has a hard time doing so. I, I mean, in my are opinion. you? Uh, uh, well, Mitra's KO ain't actually that bad. Like it's it's it, yeah, sure. She doesn't KO as early as you know Pyra or anything, but you still have you got down to the Ford Smash confirms that are kind of uh, small. You got uh, Lightning Buster. Oh. You have KOs off the top, and then you got this. <laughs> they got the footstool and everything. Just have the timing right. Numbers in a bad spot here against Pyra. Oh, it fights back. It's out. Now you never uh, Pyra or Pyra's up B mid stage if you're trying to kill with it, as you're just landing on the top platform right there. Mm -hmm. it, can, it it's good at catching like anti airs because uh, sometimes it doesn't pull it all the way up the same way say like Ether does. But if you catch somebody mid jump, it'll it'll like drag them right up to the top unless they di out correctly. Also, Blazing End, amazing ledge tool to counteract this matchup. Because it forces you to have to get up and deal with that. Short hop fair, F tilts, up tilts, and auto canceling down air are such good ledge trap options. That's where Pyro really shines. And that that's a problem for, for Wii Fit. Ooh, it immediately goes to Pyro at 30% here. I mean, Nobody I'll blame him. Yeah. <laughs> I, John Numbers is Ooh. at KO percent right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's dead to oh, force match. Oh, this down air. If that, yeah, if he gets hit through the ledge uh, with down air, he dead. If he gets hit by force match, he dead. But good job from Numbers slowing it down. Because Numbers takes advantage of people who try to, like, get too aggressive with that play style. He'll make you pay for it. Yeah, Hydra also playing the the plan here well as you go meet them first to stability the damage you played neutral here and then you, oh god oh that's your yeah. jump that's your jump boy don't be jumping too much like that at the ledge when you got john numbers, numbers staring you down this man it, like he is so good at sniping out uh, like bad habit defensive options off stage yeah sure you want to jump also that down smash you got to respect that too that can actually break shields amongst many other options that could break shields so Oof. you got to be careful with the ledge there Good spacing there for our numbers is so avoided. Trying to solve the anti-air here. Uh, numbers taking the lead. I like what Numbers is doing right now too. Now he's got to stock up. You see how while Mithril is out, he was willing to try and box a frame data. Like, look, the most you get me on is like maybe 10, 12% or so. I got deep breathing. If I hit you, great. So I'm just keep throwing stuff out the clank. You're dead though. Ooh. Oh, never no, mind. That'll no. coming in clutch. Maybe not enough rage on the pyro over here just to take the stock. That usually kills. Like I've seen that kill heavies at a hundred. <laughs> uh, now it's a kill. Thank you. <laughs> Don't yeah, lie to me. Bolt is so strong. It's so good. Like yeah. It's it's not new like you don't want to be up being like that too crazy But you see like this is why numbers was playing the way he was before he took 28% off four hits So he understands the window of punishment is not nearly that bad right now and you're lucky. Oh good mash Good mash by Hydra to get out of there Nice that move is really deceptive to block <laughs> 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 huh. You know what I applaud that I applaud that because what did what did Hydra do the entire time before that, right? Just kept short hop daring the ledge over and over and over again to make it look like he could maybe two frame him and catch him off. So what does he do after that? Knows that numbers is looking for that. So just ran out there. It's like, what's that? What's that sun salutation? What you gonna do? You're gonna yeah. die. That's what you're gonna do. Look, 49%. Look at the range of that down air. Oh, it's so huge. Look at that move. Numbers was so comfortable just charging that that whole sun off. Like, yeah, look at me. Pyro really just be vibing me. with that down air. Like, it, that move is so good. That honestly, like, I have a hard time really.
figuring out what I think Pyra's best move is right now. But look at the range. He I caught, think it's like, that move. It has to be. <laughs> It's it's so strong. It, it auto cancels into KO confirms. And worst thing for numbers right there, if numbers did for some reason, like try to maybe jump away, air dodge or something, he's dead. He literally couldn't do anything about that situation. The only thing he could have done beforehand was know that Hydra was coming out and throw out a hitbox to beat him before he came out. And you had to anticipate that. That was really smart by Hydra. Yeah, good stuff to Hydra there. You know a thing people have always like argued about like with character palettes is like seeing like having a tough time trying to see stuff. Mm -hmm. People usually bring up like, oh man, that, that reverse color of Apira and Mitra uh -huh. <laughs> is gonna throw me off a bit because I'm it, not gonna tell who. Nobody who. even uses that color. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's like, the one I this see the color, least. Yeah, this, this color, color like, throws the me default off. Default <laughs> color and. Um... I don't want to say too much because I know so many people haven't played the game. I haven't played it either, but I've been spoiled. Whatever oh, that right. the, the the teal one is, people who play it who know, knows what that one is. But like, other than that, I don't really see too many other color palettes. Then I gotta hate blazing in. It's it's so good. <laughs> it's it's a stop button right there. People usually have to deal with it. Oh, that didn't kill him. Either. Who was it? Who was it yesterday that uh, referred to it this way? Uh, oh, the buzz said he refers to side B as like an anime fighter move, and that forwarder is so deceptively fast. It is so deceptively fast to catch him off guard. Oh, the Baja Blast color. All right. <laughs> the Baja Blast. I call it Hatsune Miku. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I completely forgot about the golden, uh, silver, and platinum colors too. That's enough. That's a super popular one as well. Oh, yeah. God, I can't wait to see the color palette on Master Chief. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> I'm telling. I gotta I'm put my four in the game. I'm a firm believer. I'm just saying. <laughs> look at the time frames. It's two Halo slots comes left. out at the end of the year. <laughs> what do we got? Two more slots left. That could be at the end of the year. Massive will, summer. I will forever push my propaganda until it until he comes out. <laughs> he deserves to be in here. <laughs> oh, we just saw this super. Oh, oh, numbers. No. Why did they go to 200? Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh my god. <laughs> Today of all days, really? Today? The numbers heard me say that I want to put Ma Master Chief in this game, and he almost threw the router. <laughs> no, like, don't what? say <laughs> that. <laughs> oh. oh, the bane of playing on Wi-Fi. Just, just watching your packets just drop. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, it is. It, it's great that we continue to play. To like, at least have something to do. Uh, we'll, we'll get through it one day. But yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh my god, he's so lucky. That was almost not only if he didn't die to header there, that was his jump, which would have forced him into a really awkward position that numbers would have been able to cover after. And the sun salutation reverse. You gotta be careful with that. Yeah, you caught him with the downer before. Numbers is not one to get tricked up easily twice, so you gotta be super careful when you try for that again. That is a good strategy here from Hydra. Switching the to, to Pira. Every time he knows his number goes off stage or the percentage mm -hmm. difference. And that yeah. downer like abuse is also really good too. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to check. see when the good pyramithers actually create the chart of what the characters oh. are good for in certain situations. Because low percents, you want you want Mithra. You want to be able to box and deal with zoning. But at ledge, you need to immediately switch to Pyra in this matchup because she just takes away so much that we fit has going for them. That up smash looked like it hurt though. Looked like Akashi running in there. That up he might KO. It is not just yet, but now you gotta be careful on landing if your numbers cause you already seen you've been caught a few times. Oh. I like that aggressive salutation though. Oh okay. Numbers didn't get clean hit by that but got caught in the tech chase situation and how you looking to take this this, this game right here it's just looking quite rough. Yeah, I still feel like Lou. Oh my god, I was gonna say Lou because I looked at the chat. Numbers is so good at playing the long game. So like, even though he's behind right now, and it, it's not necessarily like the huge deficit either. Numbers will take this time to slowly figure out what is it about Hydra's approach that's giving me trouble, and how do I adjust to it? Because at, like we saw it before, right? When Numbers was playing against Pokemon, that last game, if that game kept going, I think Numbers might have might have taken it because Numbers was looking really good. Uh, that's true. Something about this character's like speed as well, and the tools. That they, oh, they almost got that footstool combo, really? Yeah, you can it, you can very easily footstool out of Blazing Ed, which is another problem. That was KO percent. <laughs> Numbers was dead if he got caught caught by that first match. Oh, oh, it just stops when you when you die. Okay, interesting. Imagine if that still would have kept hitting him though. That would have been like. I mean, technically. Stuff. 
it, 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 all things considered, that 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 is Pyro. So if if yeah. Pyro dies, the the sword's better disappear. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm not too uh, savvy on the Xenoblade 2 lore. Wait, I just realized why is it? Why does Villager not just win? Like you, oh. you're dead. You're dead. That's you it. talked about this before. You talked about this before. What was that? It, what frame was that again? Tw frame 20. That has the KO power equivalent to that of like Bowser forward smash. And oh. yeah, it's it is punishable at end leg if you happen to catch him. But if you hold it on, if you get hit on shield, look at it, like 72%. I, I'll give it to him on most forward smashes like that. You would die anyways. But it's so fast and it covers so much and if you try to play stupid at the ledge against that oh you're going to get blown up and he he basically set him up for that too by using the downer at ledge oh. and then running like making it look like he would cover roll so numbers thought he was good with neutral get up not that time <laughs> hydra <laughs> cooking numbers right now that's it's incredible i i all i want to play now is low like low head like edge hanging characters <laughs> just because chavo the uh my roommate plays this character and i've been getting oh. destroyed by the f smash i just want to I, I just want to keep hiding from it I, I, want, I want every character that can hide from the f smash out ledge and that sephiroth team this is about to get muted <laughs> let's see what numbers can do about the situation here easily the dumbest thing about like all of this is the fact that all these games were literally all these all this music was literally put into this game and yet they still copyright strike it. It drives it drives me absolutely, absolutely bad shit. Tell me about it. It sucks. <laughs> All right, so numbers building up a strong lead here, winning the boxing game. Yet yeah, when that situation happens, when she throws it like right at you because you gotta react to it. If you're just blocking it, I think you probably have to find like the cab you can roll through it. It's very it's hard to. Like it what, is. what it, one of the best ways to handle that though a lot of people keep running away from it like as it gets thrown out if you dodged it run at them make them make them reposition because if you just stare them down that just gives them a chance to like kind of look at what you might be doing now granted the uh, pirate can also move out the way when they see it like connect so it could be a little hard to punish but at the same time if you have like the right like roll positioning oh that's a good forward if the numbers taking that stock you have the, like, the right roll positioning just to get like right through the gap. You can see like a little silver lining there. True, true. I, I, I gotta, I, I gotta once again give credit to where credit's due with Hydra. Like even though Hydra is currently down right here, it's hard to constantly adjust the numbers on the fly. He's doing an immaculate job at that. Like, cause numbers now with the stock lead would love to start setting up pace control, and he's doing it. But you see that Hydra is not like get playing scared. Usually too many people when you stare down numbers while he's got a stock lead you kind of play like a little bit erratic to try and get that lead back He's playing passive enough that it's kind of working even though he is currently down a whole stock. I still like the confidence I'm seeing out of him Good keep numbers on his toe <laughs> that blazing edge almost taking the stock there. Maybe the next one's gonna do it. Oh, oh, oh no, What an number. answer what an answer cuz anything numbers could have done there other than that situation would have been a stock loss that neutral beat is so strong. That's your air dodge. You better watch where you're going to the ledge. Prominence or Volt luckily gets a hit because Numbers was ready to blow that up with a spike. Not a bad idea to go for it there. Just to get this kill, but Ooh. they're throwing away a lot of advantage here. Numbers is looking to take this as a three stock. Has to stay high right here in order to be a little bit heavier to survive some moves. Dead, dead, and super dead. Step oh up. my God, so dead. Just this is now this is the danger zone this is oh. this is world championship nintendo player numbers zone when you are currently up on him a few games and then you get destroyed like this you need to play extremely smart maybe take your time because if you go into this next game trying to blitz him in an erratic manner you are going to get blown up that's what numbers thrives on he loves when people try to just like run in on him try to put too much pressure on him after getting body like that and hydra's been playing too good to like not be able to adjust but oh my god if he does it ooh, we could be seeing numbers taking this in a, like a reverse three set yeah when you grab the numbers you can't let him go as he yeah. will <laughs> he will struggle and he will fight his way out of the box just to just to take a game or two maybe three if he's lucky you know so yeah numbers is that good of a player to adapt? Oh, wow. I really? Like, wow. What? Really? Show me. Show me like, I, I Like, I, I can, I, I kind of can understand. I think it heavily depends on stage. Maybe Smashville? 
I don't know too much about Hydra, but I've. I'm got, I've uh, God, I'm so Palu. good. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this, That's is, the, this, this is this literally is... the only logical choice that I can understand with why he would go Ike is maybe Smash Bros. Because you play around, you play around uh, the center stage platform. It's easier to navigate and punish at ledge with Ike against this matchup, and it's easier to find your ethers. So I can understand why he did this. If it was any other stage behind uh, besides this, I don't know what the hell would have been in his head. Smash Bros. Ike, best friends. Oh yeah, no, this is this is contender for Ike's best stage. <laughs> It'd be like easy. It's so good. But numbers is also really good here too. Even though numbers is an amazing player at you know, kind of hugging the ledge, playing defensive, numbers will abuse that center stage platform too, so you better be very careful. Ooh, this is a little follow up. Drop down fair? Nah, yeah, but okay. Respecting that. This is really a decent advantage here for Hydra could get taken away from good hits from numbers here, it's like launching him off the stage. All, all numbers needs is one hit to send you out there, put you in a ledge guard situation, force you to make a bad mistake with your recovery. Uh, yeah, that's a good that, jab there, oof. but it couldn't escape the corner and stood there. And numbers just makes that suck. Yeah, that now, was excellent Grant, like defense that he had before he was getting pressured off stage, but yes. still, just like jab checking numbers once you better get something out of it afterwards. Finding some form of an escape there from that ledge because at the same time you brought numbers here, numbers can also fight you here and kill you mm -hmm. just as fast. Good yeah, stock said, there from Hydra. Numbers is co perfectly content with a stock up on a stage like this to actually trade with you a bunch. Oh, the armor on that. that wow, he didn't get. Okay. Just slightly, yeah, slightly drifted out of away. Position. I, I'm pretty sure that was still hit through the, uh, the platform there, so it's just slightly oh, yeah. off the mark. Try to go Keep for a downer at the ledge now. Try and catch him on it. Good, good delay from numbers. Kind of like faded to the right. The next time he comes up though. I just probably got to be looking for him to go straight at it because now he, that he's mixed them up, he's got to find his timing. I mean, granted, that's if Hydra finds an opening again. Hydra's still up in the set right now, up 2-1. This is their counter pick. This is their advantage here, so they can sort of play around with this a bit. But Numbers is adapting well, playing their game plan, and making it really hard for Hydra to fight. The biggest thing I was hoping for Hydra to do in that last stock is if he decided to like drop, utilize Ether at ledge, oh. go for a drop. Oh, you know what? I don't even hate that because yeah, he didn't get anything out of that down air, but he tried to mix him up. That could have led to that down air could have led to an actual back air at that percent, which could have taken it back. So he's still looking pretty good here. You just got to be careful with these landings now because once numbers starts establishing some zoning again, oh, that never mind. That, that, oh, he didn't die. What? That's that move just decapitates you. Like seeing that knock kills, it's quite amazing. Yeah, All right, numbers super strong. So maybe you just needed to farm a little bit more, more, more rage. Oh, that's yeah, that's easy to punch out a shield. As strong as Ether is, it's just it's just not safe. <laughs> yeah, it has amazing options. One of the things I was hoping Hydra would do before was drop off the platform and Ether while he had like that high percent. Maybe snipe out an early stock. That's a good parry into F tilt though. This is still very much doable. He has KO power in his favor. He just needs to find these openings. Or maybe find a you know a dare at the ledge. Yeah, from a little bit of rage right there from using that upbeat, trying to catch numbers from the ledge. Oh. Numbers misses again. Any miss on Ike is just building up more to his comeback. As you jump, and dead. Numbers just shoots him. That was Shoot smart him. on Numbers. Non-committal. You have fully charged sled salutation. So if A did decide to drop down and they missed the, the side, you hit the rise of Ether with the, the sun salutation or header, they die. So trying to use a trying to recover high there was a bit of an issue with Hydra as the match progressed. He was recovering high a lot because he was trying not to get hit on his quick draws. That eventually plays in the numbers' favor, though, especially when he's at zero percent. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Numbers bringing it back. Two games could potentially reverse three zero here, as Hydra. I won't say he fumbled the bag here. I would say like he he's trying some things that he could do just to just to see if they can take the set against. Them. I don't I, I don't even mm. refer like fumbling is not like when, when numbers. I said you're on a timer. You're, you're on a literal timer when you play against numbers, especially in a best of five. You have to figure out how to destroy him as fast as you can, like speed run any percent, because the moment numbers finally figures out your defensive habits, you're done. Like, it, it's it's so hard to throw him off after, because he will completely change his whole game plan around. That game, the start, he went in a lot at the beginning. Then what did he do afterwards? Conditioned Hydra into jumps. So it just becomes like a real issue. 
Um, I don't know what else uh, I see Web saying. Maybe the Hydra Palu. Um, I wouldn't be necessarily upset to see if if he goes back to deciding to use the Pyramithra. It looks like they're trying to figure out uh, if DSR is active, though. Hmm. Yeah, the Pyramithra would be, like, good for, like, the comfort pick. Like, the more practice pick here. You know, the characters just came out. Like, mm -hmm. people are lab monsters. Incredible, like, uh, incredibly so. Yeah, the, the Ike looked extremely good. Like, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it's um just the way that he was able to pressure with Mithra at the start and be able to switch off. Like, he had more established pressure with things like Blazing End and Down Air at ledge to make it so Numbers was forced to fight him center stage. And it's not like Numbers was playing bad in center stage, especially that game three. But it's a good way to remove a win con from Numbers by having that in your toolkit. This, I think, is an incredible, incredible stage for Pyra Mithra because this is a stage where Mithra can actually get easier KOs. Blazing End doesn't work as easy on the side, but also all of Pyra moves get extremely strong here too. So this could be a pretty bad situation for numbers. All right, so. Off to a good start here for both players. Not really much of a, of a loss here. This numbers is gaining the lead here just a little slightly a little slightly though yeah he's just Let's playing a passive like like yeah. you, you want you want to know your risk or reward it's like just just use your zoning get your hits mithra is not getting nearly as much on with like interactions by comparison and you're dead <sighs> and you're dead <laughs> that that down there gets a little bit extra uh active frame time because of the way that that slant is so rising from the platform dropping down actually gives him a window to catch him a little bit earlier because you look at it you want to like you would react a certain time frame to say battlefield not here on uh on yoshi's though <gasps> oh numbers almost lost into the stock real fast right there playing a really dangerous game on the ledge yeah numbers is that charge again, again numbers no stop he's that gay over set Get if he gets caught at the ledge <laughs> Jeez. run off order Shit. all right that header yeah that I header would. shut it down he was definitely looking for it blazing edge oh just trying to get these sick combos yeah i did like set up the footstool force him to go low sets it up down uh like sets the down air up easier also at some point now that he's tried down air attempts attempts forward tilt no oh he actually went for the up b i was Top expecting platform. forward tilt to cover it Really solid lead for Hydra. Oh, they spiked. <laughs> that one was perfectly set up by numbers. He forced them to go low. He can't use the side B anymore, so you have to recover. That's why you saw him go early, because it looked like you're trying to maybe like deal with him. He's dead. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh! excuse me. God, so I'm surprised good. he was able to tech that. I'm just trying to fight out the situation, get some form of charge against this very strong female Ike. Nah, man, she she got she got way better hitboxes than I could. <laughs> <laughs> She got so many good tools going for her. Uh, he's already established that he's pretty much going to uh, keep attempting this here. Numbers has to be careful at ledge. I like the double attempted back air, and that's a move that we've kind of been figuring out. Back air and down air have a very, very similar animation. So it's easy to get tripped up by thinking you're avoiding oh down air, but you ain't avoiding it that time. Your dome. That two frame, didn't it? Like, I feel like it did. <laughs> it looked like it, it might have. I'm looking back at it. it. No, he caught him at ledge before he uh, caught okay. it. Just caught my yeah, that downer is huge. This is why I said this stage, this stage right here, potentially the best stage for this character. Oh, no, no. And that's it. That's it. What <laughs> that, happened? You, you hate to see that one. Where the toad at? No, what an unfortunate De SD. Devin, the pressure was Devin, on. Devin, where's toad? This is Hydra toad brought it to numbers and takes the set. There we set. go. <laughs> He jumped off the wall, tries to shoot the header. He jumped he up beat way too late. That's a, that yeah. one, that sucks. That one sucks because- slightly missed the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> where where oh. all decisions were regretted. And it was just like- <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. He's like, Magnet, please. <laughs> Yo, yeah, this, this game ain't sponsored by, Mag by Magnet Hands anymore. We, we, we done oh. with, we've been done with that. So like he, he played so well. Numbers was really figuring it out. That's why I like the fact that he switched it up to, uh, you know, like maybe Ike was kind of the throw off the fact that he was figuring him out. But I mostly like it just for the Smashville pick. But game five on that stage, great counter zoning stage for them. They have way less room to work uh, where they have to cover. They KO super early. Yeah, we fit can too. But by comparison, 
We saw how early Pyro was a threat. You were at KO percent at like 40 to 50 percent at all times because of how small that bla the blast zones are. And then just because of the way that ledge is set up, you stay on top of that platform, you get that easy setup for that downer.